Hi Kenneth, this is Francois from Pageant Mag Philippines. Kumusta? Okay lang naman po. Very stressful but yet enjoying since we're already in the last leg of our competition here in MIPH. So hoping and praying we can give a great show. So what have you been doing since after the press presentation? Three th uh, two things. Gym, uh, three things. Gym, photo shoot, diet. Those are the three things that is very important here in uh, my uh, preparations here in my page. So hopefully those three things that I did will make an impact come 23rd and 28th. What did you focus the most among those three things? Diet. That's the first thing. Since I was coming up, I think I was very critical about myself when I was in the press, uh, presentation, which is I think I was very... Uh, chubby at that time so I really do uh, focus on my diet on that time also the time in the gym and also some uh, mga pasabog photo shoots kumbaga. so I really do uh, want to focus on those three things and I think uh, it's a very big impact naman sa akin sa preparations for my for MIT. so alright so ano naman ngayon ang opinion mo that some of the or at least most of the uh, pageant enthusiasts mm -hmm. or pageant entities, uh -oh. uh, entities <laughs> had published their hot peaks. Uh -huh. How do you feel when you are part of the hot peaks and how do you feel when you are not part of that? For me, when I'm part of the hot peaks, naman, it's very uh, motivating naman kasi when it comes to na 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 appreciate nila yung, yung, ano mo, yung performance mo kumbaga. So for me, parang nadadagdagan lang yung motivation ko, motivation ko to stay on that level or give a much more bigger performance para mas manantili dun sa opinion nila. Pag hindi naman ako nakakasama, it still motivates me to do my best para makasama dun sa ano nila, predictions nila. So all of those th two things, even though that you're not included, it produces good results naman kayo. Mm -hmm. Um, what comes to your mind whenever you are not included into it? Uh, for me, what comes into my mind, so I think there is something that is lacking for me. But for me, even though that there is lacking, there is still a room for improvement. Na kaya mo when it comes na mo perform ka na, they will see the true nature talaga ng iyong performance. So there is nothing wrong about that. Pag hindi ka nila na ikita that you're not a uh, 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 a prediction to them, but it's up to you if you let that uh, what you call this, you let that affect you as a person. But for me, I don't let that affect me. It motivates me to be uh, a better person and be a better candidate and just do my best and just give them a reason why they should pick me in one of their uh, predictions. In your journey with uh, Mr. International Philippines, what do you think should come first? What do you think should come first, rather? Um, intelligence or um, beauty? For me, I think it should be a balance of both. But if I'm going to choose something, it's all about intelligence as well. Because even though if you're handsome or you have a stamp, had some face, it's all about what you can do for other people and what you can do for the contest, what you can do for the Philippines. Because at the end of the day, even though it's a beauty pageant, it still needs offering or what you can do to improve our country as well. So hopefully, guys here gives a good uh, intelligence-wise or a good uh, advocacy that can help our country. So for me, if we do that as a, as a, a unit or as a organization here in MIPH, then I think that it will grow in the future. Okay, so um, for your preliminary competition, you will be um, heading to Tugegarao. Yes. So, what are your expectations in Tugegarao City? First and foremost, it comes to my food. I really want to try their food. And also, the tourist spots there in Tugegarao, I want to experience that as well. But the most important thing is to perform in front of the people there. Because that's the one thing that, I'm, uh, that I want to do. Because I'm a natural performer. So that's what I'm always seeking when it comes to doing out-of-town uh, pageants or out-of-town performance. So I really do want to give the fans that are watching there a great show. Okay, so thank you so much, Kenneth, and good luck on your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Bye, guys. Audio Jungle.